good afternoon everyone. We are about to head off in our motorhome. Three hour drive, gonna pick up Christy from school on the way. So we're all packed and for the first time we're taking the bikes. So we're all on three bikes. Should be good, it's supposed to be really good weather, like maybe too warm. <laughs> but anyway, better than raining or better than being cold. Just Christy that's joining us this weekend, these staying home, looking after the pups. Nana pop a home too though. Cockatoo just flew past. I don't see there any cockatoos around here, that's a bit weird. Just one, usually in a flock. Anyway, well, um, see you on the drive up there. Have a rush, you said there'd be a map there. The office shut 15 minutes ago. This is where we're staying. Dunleith Tourist Park. So go down to the office. I have no idea. This is our site. We didn't get a water site. We we're pretty close to the water. Yes, yeah, had, had a bit of a mishap. <laughs> so funny. Kevin reversed into the pole there. But um, the biggest thing is my bike. Your mum's wheel is a bit smashed. Hmm. So, I don't like we're riding this weekend after all. <laughs> so, it's a nice spot. We wouldn't like to be here though when it's peak time because the spots are very close together. We can see the moon. The moon up there. How pretty. So it's a very small park. The map we think is life scale, life size. So if you want this. Yeah, this is the, this is the boat ramp. I thought the kids were going to the boat ramp and it's like, there's our motorhome. <laughs> I thought it was further away than this. I found the boat ramp. And you had a very long walk. I thought on the map it was a bit further away than that. This is the boat ramp. Yep, this is the boat ramp. We didn't go very far, did we? And that's a bridge that we're supposed to ride across. I did bring a Hathaway. That would be quite a long walk. Rickety. Fun? Because we've got to walk to the end of it still and then all the way across. The walk you do every morning. I know, then we've got to walk to wherever we're going to in there. Well, it's not as if we've got a bike shop. We don't know the name of this waterway though, do we? Hmm? <laughs> we don't know what this waterway is. The place is called the entrance. We don't know what's the entrance to. Hmm. The entrance we'll to have to find out. I don't know if you can see these caravans are all like front in. They have a tractor they pull them Trump in with. Lake. I don't know what's in that 
down over there. That's the main. There's a boat. What was that in the water? Oh, a little birdie. That might be a duck. No, it's a well, it's not a duck. Sure, it was a duck. Not a duck. A miniature black swan. Dinner is served. No. These two are driving me badly already. <laughs> you wanted me to come away. Hmm. Do, do, do. <laughs> Sit down an issue with the dressing. <laughs> it's obviously got like all hard on the top, has it? But the bottom, oh, you can see it's separated. They've got a big lug on the top. But hopefully mix it through, it'll be alright. <laughs> That's mishap number two. Oh, mishap, more oh, smells good. Sun's nearly sort of gone down now. There's two pelicans there. Very pretty. And there's our little home. You're doing video. No, thanks, babe. Huge. But they're in Norfolk Pine, aren't they? You can see the moon. The, the moon behind it. I don't think they have club lights lighting up the moon. No. That little motor home. It's a lot darker than it looks in the camera. Good morning everyone. It's Saturday morning, isn't it? Yes. Um, oh, I'm still a bit out of it, sorry. It's quarter past nine, but we've been a... We woke up early, read for a bit, went back to sleep. So we didn't actually sort of get to about eight o'clock, but we've all showered and got dressed now. And now, I know Christy showered last night, yes. We're now having pancakes for breakfast. And because Kevin and I are not trying not to have sugar, so we're having cream and fruit on our pancake. And Christy's still got sugar on this. So Kevin's now taking the wheel, the poor sad wheel off my bike. The dead wheel. So we can, we rung up and we can, I think we can, they've got a new wheel on the bike shops around here. So packing up this morning, <laughs> which you didn't want to have to do, but anyway, we've got to pack up, take the motor home with us. We've arrived at the bike place. Unfortunately, I'm still feeling really sick or nauseous. Very much like our experience when we went to Canberra. So I'm hoping it won't last too long. But yeah, my stomach's just ugh. Um, I did stick some anti-nausea tablets in. Luckily, I think I'll go and take one of them because it's been about 10 minutes. It's suddenly hit and it's just really bad. So I think I'll take a tablet. Can't really afford to muck around today. So anyway, I'm just waiting for Kevin to come back. That's the markets just across there that you can see we're going to go to after. Once the wheel's on. Well, we made it to the other side of the lake. I rode all across that bridge. I got here, look, my bike's here. Oh, it was very nice, so beautiful, beautiful waterway. There we go. So pretty. Yes, I can get a drink, so we might sort of ride it. Give it to your dad. I can see the beach is just there, and then obviously this is the entrance, and there's a big, big lake over the other side. So this is organic food markets, apparently. Oh, I don't think this is organic. Oh, no, that's what the markets are. I don't think the next one's organic. Oh, my gosh, that's what the markets officially are. To one of those things that you lied down. <laughs> they look like something you would like. <laughs> An inflatable bed. You know, I just told you, inflatable lounge, you're cool. <laughs> 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 I 
Lucky you told us. <laughs> nice cheese empanadas. Empanadas are so good. Yum. It's certainly a beautiful spot. So I just went around the market because I didn't have much. All we bought was those empanadas that we got. Mm. It was very nice. Are you enjoying yours? Yes, mine was very nice. And of course, Kevin's lying down like he always does. Not admiring the view. Which is very nice. Yeah, the markets, I don't know, it's always markets are hit and miss, depending on what you want. If I did have some nice strawberries, but we would have to ride them back over to the motorhome. Hello, little pigeon. The little pigeons come to see you, Christy. Hello. Our bike ride. I don't know what it looked like. Just I'm on holidays. <laughs> so, yeah, get what you get. Yeah. So we had the bike. I did really well. I was so proud of myself. It was good. It wasn't a hard ride at all. I was also the bridge and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have that, but it was fine. I think because of my fitness has improved an awful lot the last few weeks with daily walks and then being on exercise bike at home. I sure paid off. It was nice. It's so such a beautiful area as you saw. Saw it's gorgeous. So we're just back now, we've got tables and chairs set up. Kevin did buy some delightful looking pork rinds. They smell revolting. But he really tried, he sampled some and he really wanted some, so he got some. But in the cake, if you buy in the cake as well, but he left without a cake. <laughs> I was proud of him for. So, let's have some lunch soon. I think he's full of pork, those pork things now, so I'm going to have a little leftover noodle salad or whatever it was we had last night. And I'll have that. I think we're just going to make a toasty cheese sandwich. And then we'll see you back, riding back over to see the pelican feeding. I mean, I see the beach. The beach is just like, you know, a few minutes that way, not very far at all. But it's quite windy. Like, it's nice because it keeps the temperature down, but might not be the most pleasant on the beach. So I don't know. We'll do one of those two things, and then that's great for today. Just having a nice relax and enjoying the water view. And I've got a view of Kevin's bike as well at the minute. I see all the pelicans are there already waiting for the. Probably can feed it's still not for another hour. Kevin says doing the inside check. I usually do that. It's usually my job. <laughs> We're getting ready to head off. Well, she got a water view now because that caravan left. I just need. That's great. <laughs> Let's go and say one farewell. One. Oh, it's one little pelican there again. I don't think we'll be coming back here particularly again. It's a very beautiful spot, but there's lots of beautiful areas up in the central coast. We'll probably come back and go somewhere else. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think there's definitely a place if you're sort of in the water, on the water, which obviously we haven't been this weekend, but yeah. Probably been much better when the kids were younger and wanted to come in. We've got a nice beach here. Definitely recommend the caravan park. So there's a bit more of the waterway. We're heading north now, so there's the other direction to where we went yesterday. It is such a beautiful area. It's very much like Port Stephens, I guess, isn't it? Which is not far from. Very pretty. We've arrived at Nora Heads, the lighthouse. Well, we're parked. <laughs> That's a normal car park. And we're just here at the road. So I don't think it's too far, I've got to walk up to it. You can hear the water. Um, yeah, very Australian, very Australian bush around. <laughs> cottages you can actually rent them now. Very cute.
cute little reindeer padlock. Oh, you can't be searching on the door. Well, that was a really good tour. You enjoy that? That's cool, isn't it? It's considerably less windy down here. Homestead. That and little parking lot in there, that's just parking. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what this place was going to be like, darling. Looks like they're still developing it. Oh, okay, it's just the paddock. <laughs> there is some parking there, but that's probably a bit hard. It looks like there's more parking at the top, actually, Kevin. this parking lot do I? <laughs> I heard the picnic grounds, that's the picnic grounds just in there. Turn around. <laughs> Caravan is not an off-roader. <laughs> oh, I thought I had to fight for a parking spot. <laughs> We're here. We're here, Mark. <laughs> There's obviously a big motorway behind it because you can hear all the cars. Wow. I did read what this place was. I think it was like the first land lot in the area or something land ground or something like that. I guess we'll learn more. If my family ever gets out of the motor home. Now there's an ad in the thing so I thought we would come and have a look. So what is it? Um, I can't really remember. Fun? Aww, we could have bought the puppies. Guns are nice. Headquarters of the Wild District Museum. Nope. There's even got a photo that's set up there. They had sort of like a little fairground there mm. at the end. I had to do that in real life for about five minutes. Now I gave up and hope it placed me. Have a beer in it. it might break <laughs> the other Lift it up. Pull. <laughs> <laughs> <And> spider. <laughs> it's squeaky. So amazing. We've gone literally across the road to Wyom Milk Factory. I don't know where. It's a good place to park, though. I want more chocolate. Here's a good place to park. It's funny, got a gym. Cheese, got a cheese, yeah. chocolate, and then lunch. Okay. Cheese and chocolate don't go together, I think. So, a little cheese factory. Oh. Now we're going to the chocolate shop. Luca chocolates. This is the bunny orange chocolate, I guess. These ones here are $2 per piece. We just had a, a lunch stop just to this little rest area here because we realized we weren't going to get anything for lunch otherwise. So, Kevin and because you had some soup and I finished off that noodle salad that Kevin didn't eat the other night. I think I'm over that for a bit now. I've had three days in a row. It's nicer. <laughs> but it's so good having the motor home and just being able to pull over and have some lunch.